Hello everyone. Today we start chapter 10 on computer system architecture course. Topics covered in this chapter are addition and subtraction using signed magnitude representation and two complement representation, multiplication algorithms, division algorithms, floating point arithmetic operations, decimal arithmetic unit, and decimal arithmetic operations. Per general introduction, the four basic arithmetic operations implemented in all general purpose computers are addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. An arithmetic instruction may specify binary or decimal data. And in each case, the data may be fixed point or floating point. Fixed point numbers may be integers or fractions. Negative numbers may be represented in signed magnitude representation or in complement representation. And we have two forms for complement representation, R minus one's complement and R's complement. In decimal tens, complement representation and in binary two's complement representation. We discussed the three ways of representing negative fixed point binary numbers. And it was shown that most computers use the two's complement representation for different reasons. First, the range of numbers represented using two's complement representation is larger than the range of numbers represented using R minus one's or one's complement representation. In addition to that, when we add two numbers using the ones complement representation, we have to add the end around carry to the least significant bit. But in the two's complement representation, we just ignore the end around carry. In this video, we are going to discuss addition and subtraction using sign magnitude representation and signed two's complement representation. It should be noted that negative numbers should be represented in the same form before and after the operation. In both cases, there is a bit allocated for the sign and the other bits are for the magnitude. In sign magnitude representation, the sign bit should be separated from the magnitude since we need it for processing. But in two's complement representation, the sign is part of the register and it will be processed as all the other bits in the register. In sign magnitude representation, we have the sign and the magnitude. For example, in a four bit register, plus three is represented as zero, zero, one, one and minus three is represented as one, zero, one, one. However, in the two's complement representation, plus three has the same representation, but minus three should be represented in the two's complement form. And the two's complement of three is one, zero, one. First, we start with addition and subtraction of sign magnitude numbers. We will designate the magnitude of the two numbers by A and B. And the sign bit for number A, AS, and for number B, BS. Depending on the sign and the operation to be performed, we have eight possible conditions. For example, here we have the add operation and the two numbers are positive. Here the add operation, one number is positive and the second is negative. Next negative, positive, negative, negative would add. On subtract, positive, 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 negative, negative, positive, negative, negative. If we are adding to positive number, then the result is positive 
and we just add the magnitudes. When the first number is positive and the second is negative, this is equivalent to subtracting A minus B if A is greater than B and the sign in this case is positive. However, if A is less than B, then the result is negative and this is equivalent to B minus A. Next, if A is negative and B is positive, when A is greater than B, this is equivalent to subtracting B from A, but the result is negative. And when A is less than B, this is equivalent to subtracting A from B, and the result is positive. And it's very easy to continue with the other conditions. From this table, we have general observations. Here is the sign for A and the sign for B. And here we have the magnitude of A and the magnitude of B. In the case of addition, if the two numbers are positive, then the result is positive and we add. If one of the numbers is negative, then we have to compare the magnitudes. And the sign of the result will be the same as the sign of the largest number. For example, if we are adding plus 5 minus 8, in this case, the sign of the result is minus since 8 is greater than 5. And if we are adding plus 9, for example, minus 3, then the sign of the result is positive and it's the same as the sign of A. But in this case, we have to subtract A minus B. Regarding overflow, overflow can occur on addition in the case of two positive numbers or in the case of two negative numbers. And in the case of subtraction, we may have overflow for example, if the first number is negative and the second is positive, or if the first number is positive and the second is negative. This operation on subtraction is equivalent to minus A minus B, and it is the same as this operation. And here on subtraction, we have A minus minus B which is equivalent to A plus B, the same as this operation. And on the other cases, we do not have overflow. If you are adding one positive number with one negative number, then you have into overflow. And in subtraction, if we are subtracting minus A minus B, then we have into overflow since this operation is equivalent to minus A plus B. Although the final result should be represented in sign magnitude representation, many computers perform the subtraction through addition with complement. And you know that A minus B is equivalent to A plus the two's complement of B. Before moving to the slides, we noted that in addition and subtraction of sign magnitude numbers, we have to compare the signs and compare the magnitudes. And depending on these values, the sign bit for the result and the operation to be performed are determined. The hardware for sign magnitude addition and subtraction for the A operand, we need a register, a register, and be registered for the B operand. The sign bit should be separated in one additional flip-flop, AS, the sign for A, and BS, the sign for B. Here we have a complementer, so we can perform the subtraction through addition with two's complement. And you are familiar with this circuit. We have here zero for add, then B is not complemented 
but if we have here one, we complement B and add one with it, so we receive the tooth complement of B. The result of the operation is stored in the A register. So here the A register is considered as an accumulator. In signed magnitude representation, the e flip flop is transferred to the overflow flag, and if it is one, we have overflow. Here we have the flow chart for add and subtract operations. First, if the operation is add, we compare the signs. If they are equal, and they are equal in the case if A is positive and B is positive, or A is negative and B is negative. In this case, if the signs are equal, we just add the magnitudes of A and B, and the sum is transferred to the A register and the carry to the E flip flop. The E flip flop is transferred to the overflow flag, and if the overflow flag is one, we have overflow. And we'll have the result in A and the sign of result in AS. On add operation, if the signs are not equal, here the case, in this case, one of the two numbers is negative. So we add A to the two's complement of B, and this is equivalent to A minus B. And we check the E flip flop. If the E flip flop is one, this means that A is greater than or equal to B. And in this case, we check if A is zero, then AS is set to zero. And if A is not zero, we are done. However, if the flip-flop is zero, then A is less than B, and we have to obtain the two's complement of A. First, we complement A, then we add one to the one's complement of A. And the sign remains the same. This means that we are adding A and B we check if the sign is not equal, then we subtract A minus B. In this case, we have into overflow, but we have to compare the magnitude of the numbers. If the carry is one, this means that A is greater than B, and the sign of the result is positive. If the carry is zero, then A is less than B, which means that the result should be negative. So we have to obtain the two's complement of the result. On subtract operation, again, the signs are compared. If they are equal, then we have the same case as here. We add the numbers, and the flip flop is transferred to the overflow flag and the result is in A, and the sign of the result is AS. If, however, the sign bits are not equal, we perform the subtraction A minus B, and check the value again of the flip-flop. If it is one, then A is greater than B, and if it is zero, then A is less than B. The signs of A and B here can be compared using an XOR gate AS exclusive or BS on zero the two signs are equal and on one they are different so the two magnitudes are subtracted if the signs are different for an add operation or identical for a subtract operation. It's easy for you to take different examples 
on addition and subtraction, even using decimal numbers, and follow all the possible conditions. For example, if I am having the operation subtract and the number A is plus 5 and the number B is minus 3, this means that this operation is equivalent to 5 plus 3. So if the second number is negative and the first number is larger than the second number, then we go to the addition. And the sign of the result in this case is positive and an overflow can occur in this case. However, if we have the subtract operation for the two numbers, plus five plus three, since the two numbers are positive, then this is equivalent to five minus three. Next, regarding the addition and subtraction with sign two's complement data. Here, the case is more simple. We have A and B, and the sign bits are part of the numbers, and they participate in the operation. So if we have add, we just add the two numbers. But if we have subtract, then we have to add A to the two's complement of B. Here, the overflow is detected. We have to inspect the carry into the sign bit and the carry from the sign bit. And usually, these two carries are applied to an exclusive OR gate. And if we have one at the output of the gate, then we have overflow. Hardware for sign tools complement addition and subtraction. We have an accumulator register for A and the BR register for the second operand. And we need a complementer and parallel adder gate and an overflow flag B. In case of addition, we add the content of BR to the accumulator and the result is stored in the accumulator. And in subtraction, we add the two's complement of B to the contents of the accumulator and the result is stored in the accumulator. In both cases, the, the overflow flag is set to one if the two carries to the sign bit and from the sign bit are different. And please remember that the sign bit here should participate in the operation of addition or subtraction as do all other bits in the magnitudes of the numbers. By comparing the operations with sign magnitude representation and two's complement representation, we can note that using two's complement representation is much simpler. This is why most computers use sign magnitude two's complement form. For today, that's all. Thank you.